And now, Art Torres. The issue of economics is something that I've never really understood as well as I should. That's John McCain <laughs> talking to you and to America. He voted against a minimum wage increase. He voted against protections for workers' overtime rights, UAW. He opposed extending federal unemployment if you're out of work. That's John McCain. Even Republicans who are out of work want to get benefits. They're fired from a job. Even Republicans or independents want to get unemployment benefits. He opposes them. That's John McCain. He opposed reauthorizing and providing insurance for millions of uninsured children. That's John McCain. He's George Bush incarnate. He voted to eliminate vaccines for the children's program, saying it was too costly. He voted to cut billions from Medicare. Billions from Medicare. Yet he's very quickly to support Bear Stearns to make sure they stay whole to the tune of billions of dollars. Yet when someone needs prescription drugs, he voted against. The ability for seniors to have access to lower prescription drugs. I don't care whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, Libertarian, if you're sick, you ought to be entitled to get the best drugs possible at the most reasonable price. Yet this senator, who wants to be president of the United States, would deny you that if you're a senior citizen. He voted to pave the way to drill in the Arctic wildlife refuge. I don't believe in offshore drilling. I believe that we need to be look at renewable energies and look at how we can become self-sufficient as a, as a world. My God, even Newsweek is talking about how green we should be. And yet this guy is in the 18th century in terms of dealing with our environment. Keep in mind that his 96-year-old mother was kept out of photo opportunities because she looked younger than he did. The, old, the older Mrs. McCain looks pretty good for 96. The fact that she went to France two years ago, they wouldn't give her an automobile. So she bought one so she could drive through France. <laughs> Age is not an issue as far as I'm concerned. It's what you stand for. And John McCain does not stand for California. He doesn't stand for America. And he doesn't stand for the people that have been hurting for the last eight years, whether it's veterans, whether it's seniors, whether it's children. He doesn't stand with us. He stands directly with George W. Bush. <laughs> Finally, I do kind of get going. Finally, I'm amazed at all this debate over Reverend Wright and Barack Obama. Sure, attacked the Reverend. He made some pretty crazy statements, in my opinion. But he's not Barack Obama. and I've known, I've known Barack since he was a state senator in Illinois, they made this senator appear as if he were a racist, a white racist, et cetera, et cetera, to the point where he had to give a speech on race, all because of this minister. Yet let me tell you of the recent minister that endorsed John McCain. <laughs> and the press hasn't talked about this guy that much, except finally a piece yesterday in the New York Times. And let me tell you who this reverend is having been raised as a, in a Baptist in a Catholic home, believe me, I, I, I know some of these people. So Reverend John Hagee from Texas, of course. John McCain said, I'm very proud to have Pastor Hagee's support. Well, what does Hagee say? He says that all Muslims are programmed to kill and we can thus never negotiate with any of them. Okay, well, you don't like Muslims. He refers to the Catholic Church as the great whore. This is the man who endorsed McCain in Texas a few weeks ago. Has the press gone after him? No. He calls the Catholic Church, the apostate church, the false cult. This is what John McCain enjoys support from. And yet no one goes after him. What else has this guy said? Well, let me tell you what this reverend says about women. And I know he's not John McCain. 
but neither was Barack Obama and Jerome Wright. On what makes a good wife? She must be pure, chaste, honorable, who loves her children, cares for her parents, and shows hospitality to all, plus she knows how to make something for supper other than reservations. These are the people this guy associates with. So as we move into this campaign, we better be ready to not be soft on this guy. We better be ready that we are not going to be swift boated again. We better be ready to take off our in a non-violent way, of course. <laughs> With the information at your beck and call so you can refute people who say that John McCain is a great guy. Well, I know people who know him, and he's a pretty good gambler. <laughs> Loves to play craps in Vegas. That's fine. As long as it's not my money. That's fine. Swears pretty well, that's fine with me. But voting against vaccines for children, voting against Medicare, privatizing Social Security, voting against our environment, voting 89% with George Bush, that's not fine for America. There's a reason people are active today, and that's because of what the last eight years have done to us. It's no accident that Barack and Hillary have encouraged the enthusiasm that they have. It is no accident. It is no accident that modern Republicans and independents will vote for a Democrat for the White House in 08. We just got to make sure they understand why and why we're different. And that's why I'm proud to be here in Tulare to make sure that you get the message. That's why I drove down here today to make sure that you understand how important it is of what is ahead. Because let me assure you, it's not going to be easy. Let me assure you that these Republicans have lost the House, they've lost the Senate, they do not want to lose the White House, and they will do anything, as we know, to keep their fingers on that House. And we have to do everything we can, even if rigor mortis sets in, to remove that hand <laughs> from that White House. Because, too much is at stake. Too much is at stake. Let's get to work.